Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Two videos in a row, two days in a row, crazy. I'm um, actually uh, finally got the knife in that's been stuck at the uh, post office, so real excited to get this. This um, this maker has really become <clears throat> one of my favorites. I'll sh I'll pull out uh, and show you guys the other knife that I have as well. But this one would be a Graham Razzle SS3. This one actually is a one-off made from uh, made for G4. It's got a stonewashed titanium, Timascus inlay. Same thing on the other side, Timascus as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of Windex on this at some point see the colors but um it's got the Timascus uh, backspacer as well just a really really cool knife and John Graham literally I mean this guy I just love for some reason just really really love the way he does his knives um, now this one has the different shaped uh, blade than the other one I have it's in a stone wash finish as well. And 154CM. And the other side as well. There's just something real unique about the way he does his blade shapes. When I first saw these the first time, I was like, what in the world is that? Uh, lock up on this. It's pretty early on this guy, about 15, 15% or so. And this Timascus piece on this side, same as my other one. Um, works as an over travel uh, stop so just great great knife so and I'll show you guys um, the other one I have the flip-flop bolster uh, just the opposite on both sides this is a, just an incredible knife this one has this the first one I got with the drop point on it um, same well CP50 uh, this is 154 yeah so it's the same blade steel done a little bit differently. This one's more of like a satin type finish. This one's more of a stone wash finish. Um, similar sizes. This one might be... Mm, actually, they're pretty much identical. I think they're three or... Three and a quarter. I think they're three and a quarter to three and a half inch blades. Um, actually, I'll show you. Let's measure these out and see what we got. So... The actual blade itself, cutting edge is about three inches, but I think it's considered a three and a half inch blade. Um, overall length is right at eight inches. Same thing on the other one. These are pretty much identical. Um, you know, when I first got this, I fell in love with this guy. But one of the things I was a little bit bummed about was it didn't have this blade shape. And I don't know why. I just think it's really cool. So uh, when I saw this one come up in the forums... I love the Timascus inlay, um, and I just thought, you know, it's a little, a little more simple. Not like a lot of crazy stuff going on in there. But the blade shape was what I wanted. I already have something a little crazy on the flip flop, and uh, very sharp as well. The grind is just incredible. Now, you know, those of you guys who don't know or haven't had a uh, a gram, that it it is literally sharp all the way up. So it goes down through here and up on the basically the chisel point type. And then it's got a false uh, swedge like at the top. But it is literally sharp here. Now when it's closed, it doesn't. It's actually hidden below the surface, so you can't cut yourself on it. But uh, you certainly think that you might be able to when it's just sitting like this because we're not used to you know things being sharp all the way up here. So anyway, I just thought it was really cool. He's polished the, the pivot on it, stop pin as well. Um, got the proprietary type uh, pocket clip that John Graham's known for. And just really great detent. Both of these, uh, my other one has a phenomenal detent as well, but a really smooth, smooth knife. Um, drops right in this guy as well. And that is a sick, 
sick detent on this one. You can hear it as it falls. Just sucks it right in. Just a great, two great pieces. So I was very lucky to grab this. I actually waited it out for a little bit and got this for a pretty good price. Um, but I, I couldn't be happier. I just think it's an awesome knife. You know, it's just the right size. And some of the nice knives that we have are, you know, they can get a little bit too big out the back end or a little bit too small where your fingers are, are hanging off. And I don't feel comfortable with a short knife when my fingers are hanging off. So I prefer to be able to get a full grip, but it's it's literally a perfect size here. And I'm doing this from a weird angle because i got a lamp over here too. But um, fits good. I mean, i got somewhat larger hands and uh, still fits perfectly good. It's a rounded spine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on here that I should show you guys. Literally, i got to get some Windex on that so you can see how, how that color pops. It's got a lot more of the blue type, but and it's milled in. So it's milled into the, the side of the titanium. You see it really well right there. Just great, great work. It's super smooth. I mean, you can't feel where the titanium uh, stops and the Timascus begins. Just really, really cool. Um, same thing goes for the, the backspacer with the Timascus in there. And it just looks cool with the layers. So anyway, um, really excited to get this in. Great knife. Uh, like I say, I mean, I, I, you know, I've got a lot of really nice knives from really quality makers, but for some reason, John's knives just I just gravitate towards these. I think it started with that flip flop. I mean, when I got this, I was blown away at the quality of the knife, and uh, you know, with this new piece, same. Same thing, he's disappointed me yet. Just awesome. So anyway, thought you guys might want to check that out. So it's the Razzle SS3 one-off uh, made for G4. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and I will talk with you soon. See ya.